Hi guys, this is Steve A and this is the Dust Till Dawn build. So guys, welcome back. Right, this build has been awesome fun. Probably one of the best funs I've done. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit cheeky, a little bit fun, um, and still have that Steve-O horror mix in there as well. Um, I'm a massive fan of the Dust Till Dawn films. Um, well, film, even. Not the series, just the film. Um, the first one, it was absolutely awesome film to be honest when i first watched it i watched it and I, I didn't actually see any trailers about it or whatever i watched it blind and i didn't actually realize up until like you see the vampires it was a vampire movie i was like whoa hang on i was just expecting like a, a normal quentin tarantino sort of desperado sort of uh pulp fictiony sort of movie um and i was pleasantly surprised it is so funny so awesome um, it's a bit of an old film now, so if you've not watched it, please, I do recommend you go and give it a view. It's loads and loads of fun to watch. Um, without further ado, we're going to get right down into this build. Really, really enjoyed this one. Guys, I hope you really enjoy it too. Thank you very much. So guys, to start, I do a little bit of work on these enclosures. So this is a size of a 45 high exoterra it means I can work out spaces so I've got a mark there which is the 30 so what we've started out with is a Halloween tack skull and the Dremel got a Dremel took out a couple of teeth and replaced them with fangs also done an angle oh, on there so that fits into the corner we built a hide and then obviously we've got the sign there so this will all get covered so what we're going to do we're going to paint the inside black of the, the hide primer and get ready for paint on the skull so we can start fitting everything into the enclosure As you can see guys we've just covered up with mortar i wanted to do this bit first as you can see from that last little bit we just built a frame up and all the wood was sealed so that's that top it's totally enclosed in because we've taken the mortar all the way around and given the vampire skull a bit of a paint that looks a little bit better we'll probably Add a bit more to that. So now what we're doing, we're adding some polystyrene just for a bit of background. So now we're, what we're going to use, we've, I've got this old soldering iron and this just makes things really quick and easy. And just melts it off, which is going to create a few sort of rocky bits. can see nice and easy you want to get rid of all these bubbly bits at the ends where it's broken you see there I'm just gonna clean it all up a bit and then what we'll do we'll probably put a coat of PVA on this so that the mortar sticks better but we'll come back once we've had a bit of a carve so guys we carved it all out, we'll put some PBA on there. Now we've got quite a wet mix. We're just dabbing all the mortar on. Like that, you have to excuse the washing machine. 
needs must. There's one thing. If we're working around, we're going to do a few coats on this, but I thought it brings out the rock quite nicely. What it looks like there, if you can see the difference, it's just going to make. So guys, we've got the last bit of centre piece for the enclosure, obviously six machines, revolver. We've dry brushed it, just by getting a kind of thick brush, hardly any paint on there, just trying to give it that metallic effect. I'm gonna give it another quick coat over, but it's looking all right. What's a bit of sign? Now I'll give you a quick tip on how to age, make this stuff look dirty, it's just basically dab little bits around and get your finger, dot and dab, it just dirties it up a bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to paint this slot, seal it and then we can start actually putting the enclosure together. So we give it a bit of clean up, obviously wrap the sides. So now we're just gonna start adding the substrate, which is this stuff, it's excavated clay. So it's zoom ed stuff, you just add water to it. It is good for molding, but this is going to be a green bit of blue enclosure, so like we used on the Goonies, it should sort of match it to the sort of, I didn't want to go sort of cocoa fiber because the bar is set in the desert and I think the green bit of blue do fine because they like a nice arid environment and they don't burrow, so we're going to go with the excavator clay. So we're going for a Sort of dry mix. We've added a bit of sand to it as well. Obviously, this takes a while to dry out, so you don't want it too, too wet because it will take forever. So, we're just gonna start putting it in. We're gonna move into the back of the hide first, and we're gonna mix up a load more. Unlike other substrate, it sort of sticks where you want it to. So we can get in everywhere really easily. bits that we want to stick in down because this substrate will dry really hard so it'll keep bits and bobs in place so we started to try and blend in the background now so what we've got is some more of the clay and we're just going to use its paint just to break up the darkness of all that mortar like this will be a while before it's all dry now probably a week maybe it's a really wet mix we're just gonna add to a few bits just to bring it out a bit more detail. So, all we've got to do now is let it all dry. 
the tip if you get a paintbrush dab it down you get a nice smooth surface I'm happy with the look at the minute we've still got a tiny bit of clay left so what we're going to do we're going to let it dry this could take a while and then come back and do the finishing touches and add the spider So guys, this has been drying out for about a week. But I like the, the fact, it's kind of weird because it's all mortar, but different mixes have given it different shades in the rock. So you see the darker and the lighter. And originally I thought it was just, you know, it sucked up some moisture, but it's not, it's dry. But I'm kind of liking the way it's looked. I just added a few tiny, tiny little bits. But I'm really, really loving this. The hide has just turned out better than I expected. Another C6 Machines revolver. The print was awesome. Big thanks to Mark Massoon for um, printing in and out for me. You're a diamond, diamond mate. He's a... Uh, my printer man at the minute he gets right involved in anything i want to print in so big big thanks to him he's like sorted me out for this no doubt i'm going to be calling on him for the metallica build we're doing next but yes so that bit's done so now we need to add a spider so as you see Lovely, lovely group on blue in there, female. So we're gonna try and just pop the lid off here. Actually, I need to use the other end of the. Paintbrush, she's already flicking hers. So there we go. If we can like gently move her away over off of there, start getting a good look at her. Now she will create a nice bit of webbing. This is the reason why I added the sex machine re revolver. I wanted to, but like a center piece, not directly in the middle, but something like an anchor point that she could sort of web round, create a little bit of webbing. What I'm hoping is that she'll use the hide. Greenbelt Brewers can be a nightmare, to be honest. They, they won't use any hides that I build for them. So hopefully this one will, and not just build a web tunnel around here. Well, she's gone. <laughs> she just ran out, so. I think we're going to leave her in peace for that one and we're going to go and put her on that display wall. So this is where you see real how cool it looks when we put it in the display wall when you've got some lights on it. I'm going to try and get some cool pictures of when she comes out of the hide. really pleased with how that's turned out so if you've seen this before you know the final bit to finish off this enclosure gently gently and we are done I don't think that looks out of place now, does it?
So, as you see, guys, we are right down there. And I think that looks looks all right on the display wall, doesn't it? Um, next build, next build. You'll all be eager enough to see. If you follow me on uh, Facebook and stuff, you would see that I've just built that guitar bit, which actually is just behind me. So, we're going to do a Metallica enclosure we obviously you were just done the iron maiden one now this metallica one i am um, i think i'm gonna raffle off um probably raffle off maybe when it's done or it might be a centerpiece because uh next year we're hoping to launch trying to sell and create these enclosures as an actual sort of businessy thing so the the um the big plan is to get our own stand at the bts Let's get me bumming gear and build a load of enclosure, but I want a real standout centerpiece enclosure, and I think this idea that I've got in my head might be just what I need. So we might raffle it off to fund more enclosures to do more builds for the business, or we might just leave it as a standalone centerpiece for the show. Who knows? We'll, we'll have to see uh, well, what happens once we've built it. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that build. Uh, I'll keep you up to date with all the webbings and etc. Um, you, you can follow me also on Instagram, TikTok thing, and Facebook, and wherever else you want to follow me. I'll bung all the links down below. Um, big few thank yous to shout out to Made to Stick Decals. He do all my decals and stuff. Please contact him if you want fancy something like this in uh, your your living room or on your tanks he can do absolutely anything um he did a ton a ton of stuff for me for this build thank you very much mate you are a diamond his link is down below please check him out also mark my scene i mentioned him um a bit uh earlier in the vid um doing my 3d print as well awesome dude i'm going to be pulling on you for the metallica build as well and everybody else who's just supported me along the way and cheered spurs me on for every single one of these builds because every single like comment on facebook actually spurs me on to build something that little bit more better so thank you very much guys apart from that guys please leave a comment down below if you liked it thumbs it up thumbs down if you like it if you don't like it leave a comment if you don't like it leave a comment if you do like it whatever i don't care <laughs> well i do care i do care but <clears throat> apart from that guys Please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, notifies you of upcoming videos, doesn't cost you a penny, but it does mean a lot to me. I shall see you later.